So Hell of a Boss Season 2 Episode 3 came out, and you may or may not know about a contradiction that now exists because of that episode. It since it was fixed and a week made after the episode came out. But that matters little. This isn't about the spindle horse cannon. This is a video about my version of the hell of verse. You no doubt remember my head cannon video about Moxie and his life before working at IMP. You don't? Well what are you waiting for? Go watch it. Anyway, I have adopted that head cannon into my version of hell of a boss. You may have seen my works in progress on my deviant art of Moxie gaining his previous occupation. But if you didn't that's fine. I'm going to summarize it anyway, and even include things I've not published there yet. It's story time kids. Everyone sit down crisscross applesauce. My friend is being sarcastic. I do not condone showing children husband and hell of a. I condone showing them my version even less. One will have them swearing and running around like little cretins and the other will put them into a catatonic state for the next six years. They will laugh. Occasionally. Let us begin. It all started when Moxie got a letter in the mail informing him that he had been conscripted into Hell's military, which is a body consisting of legions commanded by the Arsgoisha. He went to the nearest conscription office in Roth, which is the ring he was born and raised in. Moxie was transported by bus to the mustering ground of Roth. This is where he received his notice which stated that he was to be a part of the second legion of the army of the staunch defense, which was the army of one duke and earl Salios of the Arsgoisha. Salios in the actual Asgosha is both a duke and an earl. He is known for being a pacifist. This is of course applied to my universe as well. Salios army was known as an army of weak rejects. But really, Salios took in what most considered the weakest of the bunch to use their talents that were not appreciated by others. Moxie began his service under Salios as infantry, but the duke decided he would better serve the army of staunch defense working in a logistics role. Arms repair. C. Salios' army was more like one big support company for the other armies. Most of the troops in his legions filled support roles. In truth, this was a sort of blessing for those under his command. You may ask why, but that is a subject for another video. Anyway, it's from this service under Salios that Moxie got his habit of referring to superiors respectfully, such as with his future employer, Blitz, who he constantly refers to as Sir. It is also how he became such a huge gun nerd. I am still working on the specifics of his time in service, such as how it relates to him meeting Millie. Oh now look what I've done. So many Moxie and Millie enthusiasts going rabid over their adorable romance. You will all have to calm your tits until I finish. And now it is time to end the video. This has been me, telling you, about my BS.